Peace, love, and light, family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I pray that you are listening to your instincts and you are living in your purpose. And may you have the energy of the divine planet Mars. Let's get into your messages. Okay. What message do you have for the divine collective? Okay. <laughs> this seems to be a common theme these days. Uh, transitions. You're transitioning in a lot of different ways, Scorpios. You are transitioning in your mindset, your thoughts. You are no longer thinking the way that you used to think. The universe is assisting you in all ways to acknowledge what no longer serves you. Spirit is saying to um, something about humility, you know, being humble. Um, something about humility that will allow you to overcome the storms. And Spirit is saying to be mindful of currently being in, uh, right now in the, the Mercury retrograde period in terms of your communication. Okay. <laughs> um, there's definitely endings as it relates to relationships. Um, hmm. And there's the lovers. It's interesting that these came together <laughs> because um, I believe these two also came out yesterday. So there seems to be a common theme here. Um, so as it relates to transitioning, you know, with this, with this, uh, what is the Six of Swords? Um, Spirit is saying that you're transitioning away from defeat as it relates to love. And you may have a king of cup um, or you're sitting in this king of cups energy this definitely may have to do with self-love um, I'm also getting the sense that you know spirit is teaching you a lot as it relates to you know what you are learning about the spiritual realm the lessons that you are learning um, yeah, so this represents an ending to ways of thinking that no longer serves you as it relates to your connections, as it relates to the divine itself, as it relates to those who are coming into your life, those who have come into your life that will serve a greater purpose in your life. And this King of Cups represents the knowledge um, that you have that you either you have or you have an opportunity to gain at this time all right so let's clarify the six of swords moving towards calmer waters moving towards different way of thinking okay so what you're moving towards is new friendships new new unions new gatherings many of you are actually forming relationships at this time you have put behind you have moved away from old relationships is what spirit is saying you've moved away from old ways of thinking right now what you're doing is getting ready you're getting ready for this you know for this I'm, I'm hearing this coming together you know tribes coming together again um and this is the coming together in your thoughts uh, many of you hmm many of you this has to do with your intuition you know you've invited many of you have invited um a relationship with the spiritual realm and you're beginning to see a lot of those um things that you've asked about come to fruition um spirit is saying that you know many of you are definitely living in your courage you are forming divine relationships that will serve your greater purpose because you're getting ready to move into a new phase in your life in which these new relationships will support and assist you in you know going through the next phase of your life so this is definitely what this um six of swords is about 
So six of swords, definitely way of thinking. So spirit is saying that your way of thinking has influenced, you know, uh, attracting new people, new tribes to your, um, to your surroundings. In addition, um, the six of swords is clarified also, um, with the eight of, ace of swords spirit is saying that you are having victory and in, in your communication you're having victory in your in your clarity um spirit is definitely uh getting you through some things you're going through a lot of breakthroughs you're having a lot of breakthroughs things are becoming more clear spirit is saying to be mindful that while you are in this sense of clarity that there are forces of course that are um that you know that you're still fighting is what i'm hearing there are still forces that you're fighting in order to continue to live and be in this state of clarity um and this again is is still you know giving the energy of moving towards you know new people new things new ideas um new ways of thinking okay so many of you are definitely experiencing a lot of breakthroughs in your communication okay so six of swords is also um giving us the what is this the nine of wands you're sitting resilient you're standing resilient um mm, many of you get to understand that as it relates to this transition and this clarity that you have um you know it's definitely taking a lot of courage for you to be in a mindset that's that's basically different from the norm you're going into new territory is what spirit is saying and you have to have a backbone um many of you are <laughs> many of you are definitely you know standing as this wounded warrior and spirit is saying that you're not done yet you're you still have you're still you're still in in it to win it is what i'm hearing spirit is saying to gather your strength because you're going into the next phase of your life and this is not the time for you to be sleeping is what spirit is saying this is not the time for you to be sleeping you definitely want to be standing you definitely want to learn from your past uh mistakes um and many of you spirit is saying you are standing resilient you you have learned from your past mistakes and this is why you're able to continue to transition with this six of swords um with this six of swords card okay um give us information about this ten of swords okay so this ten of swords many of you um because you ended some things you know you you are moving towards your wish fulfillment um ending whatever endings that you experience whatever endings that you purposely went through okay many of you actually created these scenarios where you basically stop speaking to people you stop going to places this is bringing you your wish fulfillment is what spirit is saying you are living in your joy you're learning how resilient you are how abundant you are and spirit is rewarding you in this nine of cups energy you're definitely in your wish fulfillment your <laughs> your spirit is your spirit guys are with you they're sitting they're standing they're all around you they're surrounding you um and now you really are just looking back at you know your resiliency and what you had to what do had what you had to go through for many of you spirit is saying that there are people who are still attacking your who are still attacking you um in the spiritual realm uh, okay give us more information about this ten of swords Yeah, they're attacking you in the spiritual realm, trying to influence your your uh, your pentacles with the five of pentacles. You know, whoever it is, you know, they're trying to create some kind of mm, scenario regarding your your pentacles. And I'm also getting it could be having to do with your love life as well. Yeah, and these come out. They came out again. Um, 
And Spirit may be saying that as it relates to this Ten of Swords, you know, there was a time when you were in this Queen of Cups energy where people thought that they could attack you spiritually. They could attack your pentacles. And Spirit stepped in and, and basically, you know, ended these scenarios and you're seated, um, you know, having your victory. Ten of Sword Spirit. Yeah, you're and you're working. You're working. Uh, you're committed. You're dedicated. And you will accomplish what you are working towards with this Eight of Pentacles. For many of you, you're working on things. For many of you, you are working on some things that Spirit is saying will will or is bringing a lot of reward to you and i'm hearing um businesses and this may not be this is basically any business this could be business as it relates to like um something that you formed that may not necessarily be like a storefront or a corporation but but having to do with people coming together okay that will build up your pinnacles okay uh yeah and you've moved you definitely uh ten of swords okay clarified by the seven of swords um yeah you've definitely ended a lot of things you have definitely ended a lot of things you have walked away from enemies that were pretending to be your friends is what spirit is saying that were influencing both your pentacles okay they were influencing both your pentacles and your ten of cups spirit is saying you, you've dealt with a lot of greedy people in your life Spirit is saying you've dealt with a lot of greedy people in your life. People who are basically consumed with with currency. People who are consumed with with the dollar and and who are consumed with basically having power over people because of these pentacles. So you've dealt with a lot of endings, is what Spirit is saying, and um, yeah, you've 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 walked away from them. You've walked away from them, and this is why Spirit said that you're you're in your wish fulfillment, and or you're moving towards your wish fulfillment. Okay, and um, <laughs> Spirit is saying that you your ending is also in you know with this world card here at the bottom of the deck spirit is saying that you have the world at your disposal and it seems like not it seems it is actually factual that the world card has been coming a lot many of you definitely have travel in your um in your future and perhaps it's the near future traveling that will make you feel whole traveling that will bring you a sense of belonging. And I'm still getting that sense of many of you trying to find your tribe again. And Spirit is saying that this will actually, you know, complete this cycle that you're moving from and towards a new cycle. <clears throat> so you've, you've moved away from an old cycle and you're moving towards a new cycle in your life at this time. And Spirit is saying you have the world at your disposal. And finding your tribe, finding people that, that gives you a sense of belonging will be the next step in this um, endeavor. And um, yeah, so this this definitely, and I'm getting the sense that the, the lovers is connected to this, even though we haven't asked the question yet. You know, like this relationship, perhaps, um, you know, finding your soul tribe, finding uh, people who have the same values as you will come by way of, you know, this travel. Yeah, look at this. Um, this is travel again. This was underneath the world card. Um, you're definitely moving in that direction, Spirit is saying. Many of you are actually soul searching. You're searching for the means. You're searching for the answers to, you know, make this move. 
and spirit is saying that the answers that you seek you know you will find them um ask ask and you will receive the answers regarding this this move that you're trying to make make with the hermit mm. okay give us information about this lover's card yeah so this this is a relationship or share connecting connection <laughs> that is very fast moving okay this is this is definitely something that's gaining momentum it's it's coming as a result of whatever cycle that you've ended um this with this lover's card i'm getting the sense that you know this is something that that is fast coming i'm getting the sense that this is something that's that's fast coming and it's it's a result of whatever work that you put in is what i'm hearing that the universe is rewarding you with this okay it's not a reading until we have a flying card right okay let's see this one is not hard to get okay so yeah this came out again <laughs> okay like this thing this the spirit is saying this is like okay you traveling you're definitely traveling somewhere let's see this stayed mm -hmm. many of you are trying to do it as a result of really trying to soul search yeah you're trying to soul you're you're trying to find something you're looking for something okay there's something that you're looking for in these travel travels that you're looking to have and spirit is saying that you know with this with the lover's card uh clarified by the world the eight of wands and the three of wands that there's going to definitely be success in your relationship there's success in you finding your soul tribe is what i'm hearing um and it's something that the universe is is working on to give you okay we're clarifying the king of cups okay, look at this it's coming this is with the chariot you know you're having victory many of you spirit is saying that you're having a victory with a king of cups hmm who is definitely i'm getting a sense who is definitely a warrior you uh in the sense that you know this is someone who's definitely who's willing to fight for you who's willing to remove all obstacles out of their way in order to to get to you okay this king of cups have been showing up all right this is cancer pisces scorpio energy uh clarified with the chariot Tell us more about this King of Cups. Mm, this is someone who I'm getting the sense that they were previously restricted as a result of having, you know, people and things that were basically making them feel stuck, making them feel, you know, in the sense of being paralyzed, powerless. Hmm is what i'm getting hmm. okay so let's get some information about this eight of swords okay tell us about this eight of swords as it relates to the king of cups the restrictions feeling anxiety um mm. okay something having to do with someone's cup some some something that was being offered to them that they didn't they didn't quite sit with like okay got the that was the four of cups um hmm. so they were blinded also because this person i'm getting the sense that they were also stuck in this energy where they were also you know they're working really hard is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see if we can get some more information. They're working really hard, <laughs> perhaps in the King of Wands energy. For me, I'm getting the sense that this person was blinded by their lifestyle. Um, perhaps 
whatever lifestyle they had, you know, was keeping them in this state of being blinded. Um, this may have been someone who's mm, <sighs> okay. So the story gets a little bit and I'm, I'm getting this energy of the plot thickens so this king of cups was feeling trapped restricted um regarding their choices these these are the cards that came out okay they were feeling trapped and restricted as it, as it relates to the choices that they had okay and this represents a change something that they're overcoming so what they're overcoming this lifestyle of feeling trapped and restricted with um with this seven of cups there were a lot of things in their surroundings perhaps even people that 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 put them in this sense of being restricted okay so when we ask to get information about the eight of swords the queen of cups and justice comes out for many of you i'm getting the sense that this king of cups is someone that is represented in your life who is trying to get justice with you in the queen of cups energy okay they are trying to get justice with you and they're moving towards you and it seems like all of these all of these cards in the reading has to do with you know with you having victory having clarity and also getting together with people who are now aware of who you are scorpios and i'm getting the sense that this king of cups you know sees you and this queen of cups energy someone that they can definitely build something with have justice with and they're looking to develop they're looking to develop and give you something okay they're looking to develop and give you something um okay what's this king of cups tell us about this king of cups tell us more about this king of cups and the queen of cups well let's let's ask about the queen of cups why is the queen of cups here okay um so for many of you this is someone who's returning to you. Okay? You you have a king of cups and you're seated as the queen of cups and this person is basically returning to you. Okay? Because they want a sense of justice with you. Um getting the sense that they're looking to provide with you. Um, this person may have experienced some losses or hmm, this is actually relating to what they've what they've given up okay this king of cups has given up some things um, that's now allowing them to move towards you okay uh, so they've given up some things yeah they had some time to to definitely soul search they've had some time to definitely soul search and you know with this high priestess here this is kind of like someone who's in an inner knowing regarding um regarding someone so i'm getting the sense that this king of cups um after doing some soul searching and having to give up some things I'm getting this sense, you know, Scorpios, that both you and this King of Cups have gone through like major life transitions. And you also have a Page of Wands, 
you know, someone that may be coming in to bring you news or they're planning something. Um, yeah, so you have a lot of, you have a lot to look forward to is what I'm seeing. You have a lot to look forward to. Um, transitioning to new ideas, transitioning to new relationships. Um, also, the possibility of traveling is is there. The possibility of finding love, like these things, do. they come out, you know, during every reading. And you have a you have a King of Cups who's looking to build with you. Okay. Um, any last word regarding this reading? Okay, so, okay, the Knight of Cups wants to say something. Uh, the Empress, okay. So this, this King of Cups is coming to bring towards you a proposal of some sort, some kind of an offer. And this person is definitely slow moving. Um, they've moved away for, from some things and are looking to to build. Are looking to build. Yeah. Okay. And then I also saw that the Queen of Swords um, and the Empress showed up. So this person may be may know that you are in this queen of swords energy you know perhaps this is why they are bringing a small offer to you know kind of test the waters um and eventually is what i'm getting is you know this person you know really sees you you know they would like to have some kind of um connection with you they would like to build with you in this empress energy they definitely see you as abundant okay they definitely see you as abundant okay let's get some words from the ancestors oh, what words do you have for the divine collective look at that it came out again all right so it was meant to come out <laughs> okay number 39 Tawodi, kin of the red tailed hawk 39 yeah this was definitely meant to come out okay 39 Tawodi, kin of the red tailed hawk on the sacred wings of red-tailed hawk, a divine message comes. Your spiritual maturity has evolved into genuine power and discernment. You have earned your stripes. Acknowledgement is granted. Trust yourself in your destiny. You are ready for your next step. Yeah, weren't we talking about like going into the next phase of your life, ending a cycle and going into the next one? Okay. Trust in your sense of timing, which is excellent and inspired. Allow spirit to support you as as you hover until the moment comes for you to fearlessly plunge into your forthcoming adventure mm. adventure sounds like travel to me <laughs> okay a divine message is here for you now so be open to the signs from the universe you are more spiritually mature than you may realize you have an ability to share wisdom and honesty with your people if you're still searching for your soul tribe there we go again trust yourself you will recognize them instinctively when you meet them, even if on the outside they seem different to you. You are seeing things clearly, so trust your vision and have patience. Speak your truth, but do so with compassion, because your words have greater influence than you may realize. When the moment is right, take action. A way will be shown for you to manifest your spiritual light in this world in practical ways. I think I, that's that like <laughs> spirit has spoken like this this is this reading is about your soul tribe again like 
you know we we were just speaking on you know moving away from like an old cycle and moving towards a new cycle in which you are looking to find your soul tribe and many of you like spirit said like your soul tribe they're not going to be people that you think they're not going to look like you think you know these are people that may not even look like you these are people that may look like you however you know the the implications of a soul tribe is that you're going to connect on a soul level okay you're finding your soul tribe that you will connect with on a soul level and spirit was saying you will have a knowing that you know you will have this this divine knowing that you will have and when the time is right for your your soul tribe to come together it will happen and you know connecting with your soul tribe spirit is saying is going to all allow you access to so many different things that you've always wanted to do it's going to connect you to you know finding like your divine like partnership is what i'm hearing okay so yeah your soul tribe that's definitely the message that spirit has for you okay all right y'all if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe but let's see if you can see it oh there you go <laughs> if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time peace love and light